and thanks for tuning in to the Financial Investor Channel. My name is Brent. Today we're going to be talking about five stocks with ex-dividends next week. Uh, the first stock is the Wynn Resorts and that ticker symbol is WHNN. Its uh, ex-dividend date is on the 8th which is next Tuesday so you must own the stock Monday. Looking at it we're going to be talking about these stocks whether they're overvalued, undervalued for the year, what their one year growth, five year growth has looked like, what their payout is uh, as far as uh, payout to uh, what they pay out their stockholders versus what they use to grow and their dividend history. Just really quickly recapping through each of these, hopefully taking about a minute or two per each one, just quickly going over it. So Win Resorts right now, it's considered overvalued. You can see that its uh, median point would be a dividend yield of about 1.8. It's currently sitting at 1.58. Um, so it looks like it took off. It was pretty stale up until March of this year and then kind of took off. And taking a look at their five-year period, they were very, very high at one point in the $238 range that crashed back down in 2016. Their optimal time to buy would have actually been sometime in 2016 where their yield exceeded 6%, almost 7%. Actually, it looks like it broke 7%. That would have been the optimal time to buy Win Resorts. Right now, uh, it's currently yield, the yield is 1.58. Their five-year average yield is 2.69. So again, undervalued for its current price to yield. Now, taking a look at their one-year, uh, it is Win Resorts, so Win Stock. Uh, one-year growth. They've been really stale up until March and then just jumped up over 28% from March period. So we talked about that. Five years, they've been on a downwards trend. 2016 would be the optimal time to buy. Uh, they were around a, a six, seven, you know, a 7% yield. And now they've just shot up since then. So this could be a buy where they might continue to grow up back up to into the $246 range or right now it looks like they fell off a little bit could be their earnings didn't come out great or people are cashing in on those earnings and gains in the last couple yeah their, maybe their earnings came out wasn't what they expected and it kinda came back down or they had a really good earnings that came up really far as everybody was buying it and then they sold off their gains and it kinda crashed back down so uh, let's take a look at their payout really quick so this is win Oh boy, what did I click on? There we go. Uh, current rate payout ratio, 40%. That's good payout ratio, under 60. They have not had any dividend growth payout increase in the last year. Uh, Tuesday is their ex-dividend date, so you must own it by Monday. Dividend payout, you can see it has been really spotty. They have these really special payouts where they pay out $8 a share, $5 a share, and so on. But their dividend payout is really inconsistent. So next stock we're going to be taking a look at. So right now, Win is overvalued in my book. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do a recap at the end here. So Win Resorts overvalued. Next is Starbucks. Starbucks had a good earnings report. We can see here for their one year, they're currently undervalued. So Starbucks is undervalued. We can see that their price dropped crazy. Uh, they're in the $55 range when normally their high point was $63. And if you bought it at 63 and were, you know, hoping to gain additional uh, gains, it just dropped gigantic there back in what lo looks like what end and you know mid June. Um, so they may have had a bad earnings report, which may have caused that. We can see that they are currently undervalued because their yield greatly outweighs their their current price for the year. Looking at their five year, they're an upwards trend. Their yield looks like it's really nice for that five year too. And we could just take a look at that here on um, Yahoo. We could take a look at their five-year average payout. Uh, let's see, five-year, 1.31. And their current one is 1.71. So right now, if you bought in the Starbucks, you would buy it at a discount. Uh, going over their five-year average yield and over their one-year, 1.71, 1.71. That's what it currently is. Now, uh, we can see that the average for their one year is around one point five one point six zero would be probably maybe at the average. I don't know. Right now it's shot way the heck up there. And their price is actually very cheap, so 
let's see here. Let's go take a look at Starbucks stock. So we can see that they had a major decline, 13% since June 2nd up until August. At one point, going down 16.4. This may have been their earnings, where they may now have met their earnings, and it just dropped about 8% there. So big sharp drop off. Could be an optimal time to buy again, undervalued in the yield compared to price. So uh, one year they have uh, about 0.47 growth, but as a long-term buy and hold, 140% uh, 140% in five years. That's 28% average per year, plus they're paying dividends. So let's go take a look at their payout history. So S bucks, let's see here. Oh, it was there. S bucks. Now payout for Starbucks, I think it was in the 30% range. Let's take a look here. 48%. So they're using 48% to pay out to their shareholders, 52% to invest in themselves and grow their business. Six, per, uh, six years of continued dividend growth, X dividends in four days, so that's Tuesday, you must own it Monday. They pay out on the 25th of August, so if you bought into them within their, before Monday, you would actually get paid the same month. Uh, they've had continuous dividend payouts since 2012, 2010, so they've actually had, they started paying dividends in 2010, and they've continued to increase their dividends for it, for each year that they've paid out, they've increased their dividend. They had a stock split right there, two for one, and they've continued to pay out a dividend uh, 16 cents per share. So they were paying 16 cents a share. They did a stock split. Now you have uh, double your your double your stocks, and they still paid you 16 cents per share per quarter. So if they do another stock split in the future, you could get double, and you would get double your dividend payout. Uh, so long term right now they're considered undervalued and they have good dividend growth good payout ratio and um, I believe this one would hold through a recession just looking at it in the future uh, good good growth five years not so much in the year but 10 15 30 years out Starbucks would still be around everyone needs their coffee um, next one is Walmart that is up next week and that is on the 9th which is Wednesday so you must own it on Tuesday uh, we can see that they're currently overvalued their one year is very low at 2.49 their average yield is 2.75 for the year and their highest yield would be three over three percent uh, back in early January of 2017 and taking a look at their average five-year average is 2.57 so right now 2.57. Uh, their five-year trailing yield is exceeding their current yield, so this would be considered an overvalued stock right now. I'd wait for it to even back out. Eventually, it'll come back down where their yield will um, be worth more, and they'll be considered an undervalued stock. But right now, they are overvalued. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that as overvalued for the current time being. Now let's take a look at their one-year and five-year history. So one-year, let's take a look at their momentum. Uh, they've had 10% growth in the one year. So that's really nice for a one year growth. With a 2.5% dividend payout, uh, that would average about 12%. Uh, five years, they haven't done so much growth in five years, only up 10%. So they've done a lot of their business in uh, movement just this year. It looks like they had a, you know, their yield there uh, right here in January, early January would have been the best time. Uh, almost 3% dividend yield back then when they were greatly undervalued and uh, now they're uh, so Walmart that could be just Amazon coming in bulldozing them they've recovered a little bit now they're getting into the e-commerce and website based sort of uh, atmosphere now so this could be a good buy and hold now Starbucks has been paying out dividends for years and years I believe they have um, 40 years or up of dividend payout growth so we're gonna take a look at that right now they've paid out dividend growth for 42 years only paying out 46%, 47%, so they're using 53% to reinvest in their company. Um, this could go where they're building their, you know, they're building up their e-commerce. They have one-day deliveries, pickup in stores, etc. Uh, so again, we talked about you must own them uh, on Tuesday, and you would be paid out on September 5th. Uh, as far as growth goes, they've had 2.1% growth in 2016, 122 Two percent growth over the last three years consecutive for 42 years so that is great growth for the last 42 years they've increased their dividend payout 
uh, through the recession in 2000, through the recession in 2008, through the recession in 92, to, you know, all three recessions that I've lived through myself, they've continued to pay out. So I myself, I would see this as a good buy and hold. Uh, right now they are actually overvalued, so I would wait for them to fall back down a little bit. Um, but, you know, in the one year they've continued to go up. This could be at their optimal point. They might come crashing back down or even back out for the year. You can see that. Uh, they they get to this point up here and they just kind of crash back down so this is just 2015 so if you bought in right now and say they do crash back down you're down 35 percent so maybe not a great time to buy right now wait for it to come back down and then it would be considered a good buy and hold stock and we already talked about their payout and dividend history so um let's see next stock is ups and that's united parcel services ups is currently considered undervalued so undervalued it's currently sitting at 2.89 percent yield where its highest yield would be over three percent and that would have been bought around a hundred dollars or less actually about a hundred and three dollars so currently um undervalued for its one year mark and um that's good right there so let's take a look at their five year uh, ups here let's take a look at their five year Average dividend 2.78, 2. Point, so 2.89 is what uh, you know 10% over their five-year average, and their future annual dividend yields 2.98, 2.98. So uh, looks like maybe they're they might have a dividend increase coming up, or they're looking at it maybe in the future as continuing on a downwards trend maybe because Amazon kind of stepped in they've talked about doing their own shipments which they use a lot of UPS right now but they might lose or UPS might lose that sort of revenue coming in from Amazon delivering all the packages and uh, because they're going to start up their own delivery services and such so UPS let's take a look at their one year five year so one year they haven't had much growth in the year just looking at that chart three percent in one year and five years they have had good growth forty six percent in five years so that's over the average of seven thirty five percent in five years would average out to seven percent plus they dividend payout three percent so average dividend per year would be ten percent plus you'd be able to reinvest that dividend pay to increase your overall dividend payout which would increase your overall payout or your uh, gains throughout those five years so this could be a buy and hold uh, UPS has had a good history actually I think they cut back in 2010 2000 somewhere in that period so uh, yeah 2010 this is the last time that uh, they kind of they halted paying dividends and they started paying dividend growth since 2010 uh, 55 percent dividend payout so not too bad uh, UPS is pretty hard to probably you know grow their company so they could actually increase their payout ratio and it wouldn't overall hurt their um, their business I don't think uh, they are ex dividends in August 10th which August 10th is next Thursday so you must own it by Wednesday you would get pay you would get paid on August 30th uh, annual growth 6.8 percent in the last year 8 percent in the last three years so pretty good growth over seven years now their payout we can see here they've had Again, that 2000, uh, 2008 recession, they didn't cut back on their dividend, so that's important. They didn't cut it back, but they didn't increase it. That's where their dividend growth stopped. It was only seven years, but they've actually had a payout history of over 40 years, I believe. It doesn't show me here, but I think I remember reading on UPS, they've been out for a long time. They've had, they've had a good history of paying out. But they, during these recession periods, they don't cut their dividend. They just don't increase it anymore. So this could be a buy and hold for the long term. And it is currently undervalued. So it could be a buy and hold. They could come back up into value. Um, you know, it's, it's just up to your guys' decision whether this would be something you'd like to put in your portfolio. Uh, one year, five year, good payout, and good dividend history. So that one was undervalued. And the last one is Apple. And the ticker symbol is A-A-P-A-A-P-L. And Apple is considered, right now, way overvalued. You can see that its dividend yield is 1.5. Its average dividend yield is 1.75. And its highest dividend yield is around 2.15. 
You can see it up there on the chart. That would have been September of 2016. A great buy. You probably would have made a gigantic gain since 2016 in September. Look at that growth right there. That's a great growth. If we take out the dividend and the yield, look at that line. Just huge, huge, huge. Uh, so they are currently overvalued. Overvalued for their one-year mark. So 1.5% right now. Let's go take a look at their statistics here. Uh, 1.79 is their five-year average yield. They're 1.5 right now. So right now overvalued. Their forward is 1.6. So that means they're maybe looking at either increasing their dividend yield or uh, analysts are predicting that it might go down. Their price will drop back down, which will increase their overall yield. And um, let's go ahead and look at it here. Apple stock for the one year growth, their growth in the one year has been huge. It's been like 40%. Not, yeah, 46%. That that alone beat the S&P 500 just almost seven times over within a year. Now uh, their five year period, that's a little bit slower. 75% uh, still gigantic. Uh, the best period to buy them, buy them would have been May of 2016 where that yield would have been up here in the almost 2.75 range. Two point, you're basically getting almost 3% payout from Apple for that great gain, that great uh, growth, and they'd be giving you a payout history. Now, uh, Apple, let's go look at their payout ratio and their dividend history. So I already know. Uh, they just started paying out dividends about, what, seven years ago, four years ago, and they've continued to pay out since then. They're only paying out 28%. That means they're only paying out to shareholders 28% of their, their total uh, revenue, and um, that's great. Earnings, uh, let's see, 28, four years of continuous growth, uh, payout growth. Uh, their ex-dividends on the 10th, so that is next Thursday, so you'll want to buy the stock by Wednesday. Do I think you would get your return? Um, possibly. I would wait for them to re recover from this little in that increase of 6%. They might bottom out and then come back up a little bit. So you might want to wait for this bottom out here after their earnings report. Yes. Uh, let's see here. Let's take a look at their growth right here. Uh, Annual growth for 2016, 9.9%. .9%. Annualized growth for the last three years, 9.8%. And they've, of course, increased for four years. Now, we already know that, um, actually, it looks like they, yeah, right here. Uh, they started with $0.09 cents and then greatly increased it by huge growth to $0.38. Cents. That's almost four times. Uh, 9 and 4 is 36. Yep. So four times the growth, yeah, they doubled, you know, four times it there. And they did a stock split here where they split up their stock and they still paid out 47 cents a share. So they did seven for one. So I'm not sure if you, you know, if you held one share and you're getting 46 cents a share, 44 cents a share, and then they did a stock split. Now you have seven. And now they're paying you 47 cents a share. You could be balling right now in that dividend pay. I'm not sure. I've never gone through a stock split myself, so I'm not sure how that dividend payout applies to when they do a stock split. Do you get paid, you know, if, if you had one stock and you got paid uh, 47 cents a quarter and then it's split into seven, would you make uh, 47 and seven? So five and seven, three dollars and fifty cents instead of, you know, 50 cents. So uh, Apple, Definitely a good buy, but currently overvalued. So those are our five stocks to buy, or, you know, five stocks with X dividends next week. Again, that is Wynn Resorts, W-H-N-N, Starbucks, S-B-U-X. Uh, that one was undervalued. Wynn Resorts was overvalued. Walmart, uh, ticker W-M-T, was overvalued. UPS was undervalued. That is, of course, ticker UPS. Uh, Apple uh, was under or overvalued, and its ticker symbol is AAPL. So that is it for this video. I want to thank everyone for watching up until this point. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you 
you know, you really like this sort of video, you would like them every week or every other week, leave that in the comments below. It really helps out my channel. If you have any questions or just want to say hello, please leave a comment and I will always reply. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you next time. Bye.